Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cause and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create Office Pro Plus 2016 and deploy through SCCM. So create as a silent install and deploy through SCCM. So here's the four step that out that I outline. One is create a silent MSP file. Two after the silent install MSP, MSP file is created, I'm going to manually test the silent install. Three, I'm going to create SCCM package. And number four, I'm going to deploy to a test workstation. So now let's get started. So here's the contents of Office 2016 installations. So what you need to do is you're going to copy the path and you want to click on start run and paste the path and type in setup.exe backward slash admin. Oops, misspell. Click yes to confirm. So he, this is the step to create a silent install MSP file. So I'm going to create a new customization file. And here's all the customizations you can do. Um, let's take a look at setup. By default, it's going to put in program files folder and under Microsoft Office. You can change it if you want. I'm going to leave as default. The organization name, you want to give it your organization name. I'm just going to call this Carson Cloud. All right, and next one is installation network. Since you're doing it through SCCM, you don't need to do configure um, additional network source. I'm gonna skip this section. License and users. If you are using KMS client, uh, KMS settings, I'm sorry, I meant K KMS licensing, and then you can choose use the KMS client settings and the select checkbox accept terms conditions you want to check this box display level you want it silent or full display to the user most likely it's just basic and you don't want to display anything since we're going to deploy automatically through SCCM remove previous installations by default, it's going to remove all the previous versions, or you can customize what to remove. Add installations and programs if you want to customize additional installations within this um, Office 2016 install. You can do that here. Click Add. Office security settings. You can configure settings here. It's customizable. Um, you can look in the Microsoft article about their settings. For now, I'm not going to do any settings. Modify settings property. You can add additional properties like um, force reboot or something like that. You can add that here. Again, you can look in the Microsoft TechNet uh, article about this settings. Modify users settings. You can change user settings in each applications. For example, you can clear cache, never cache data, disable office start, startup screen. This is customizable um, options available to you. Set features installation state. 
if you don't want to install a certain component or a certain application, for example, you don't want to inst install Skype, you can just right click and go into not available. This will not install Skype. I'm going to remove access also. So this settings will not install access or Skype. Next, add files. If you want to add additional files to the installation, you can do that here. Or you can remove files. Add registries. You can add customized registries. You can add or you can import the registry keys from registry files. This option here is to remove registry entries. If you want to remove any registry entries, you can do that here. Configure shortcut. These are the, the default shortcuts. And you can configure it where you just say if you want PowerPoint to install somewhere else or change it to a different name, you can do that here or change the icon, etc. I'm not going to do that here. I look profiles. Um, you want to use existing profiles. Or you can modify profiles. Add accounts. So there's no options here. These options can only configure when modify default profiles. Create a new one. Export settings. Nothing here. Specify send receive groups. This option is not available unless you modify and create a new one. So that's it. Now I'm going to click as click file and do a save as. So the save as I want to save it to the updates folder of my of the Office 2016 folder. So I'm going to paste this here. You have to put it in updates folder in order for it to read. I'm going to call it customize. MSP file. Again, it must be in the updates folder. Now, let's take a look at the MSP file. Here's the update folder, I mean the MSP file. Now, I can go ahead and run the test. That is the Step number two, as you can see here, I don't have Office installed on this machine. Let's say programs and features. It's clean, there's no Office, so I'm going to run the install manually. All you have to do is just double click on setup.exe or right click run as administrator. Here's the basic dialog box that display. It's going to take some time to, uh, to complete. I'm going to pause and continue recording. Pause and continue as the installation progress. So again, you I recommend that you run the manual install first before you upload it to before you upload to SCCM. That way you want to make sure the silent install is working. It's easier to troubleshoot that way.
All right, look like um, the installation has completed. Let's see programs and features. Here it is, Office Professional Plus 2016. Just type in Word. Ask me later. So it is working. I'm going to close it out. And then I'm going to remove it so I can install through SCCM. Now let's go into SCCM and oops, hold on one second. I'm going to leave it install for a little bit. I'm going to create an SCCM package first. Software library. I want to go to applications, create application. It's going to be a manual specification platform, application information. So Microsoft Office. Pro Plus 2016. I'm going to click next. I don't need to fill anything in here. Well, I could just put Microsoft. And version is 2016. Click next. I can change the icon if I want to. Do that later. Next. Deployment type. I'm going to click add. It's going to be setup.exe. I'm just going to type in, oops, it's going to be um, a setup.exe, so it's script install. Next, it's going, I'm going to say Office 2016 install. The locations is the path of this location, Office. I'm going to copy that. Oops, sorry, folks. So um, that was step number three. Let's go back here. Create SCCM package. That is step number three. It's going to be setup.exe. There's no special switches here. Um, you don't need a quote. I'm going to remove it. Uninstall. I can do the uninstall later. Um, there's a special command line to do that. Looks good. I don't need to do run install 32 or 64. Let's leave it alone for now. Click next. This is detection rules. I'm going to add our detection rules. Let's do a file. Um, let's take a look at this test machine again. Look for word.exe. Oops. I think it's called WinWord. Let's type in WinWord. Here it is. Let's see where the file is. The file is in this location. I'm going to copy the path. I'm going to put in the path here. And file name, it's going to be windward.exe. Let's specify the file versions. I want to get the right side equals to I'm going to right click go to properties 
details. So here's the version 16.0.4266. I'm going to say greater than or equals to. So you want to do this because when the updates get installed, it might change the file size, uh, the file versions. Uh, so best practice is to do a greater than or equals to 4266.1001. Going to click OK. I'm going to click Next. Install for all for systems. Log on required, whether or not users log on. Normal, I'm going to change this to 30 minutes. And I'm going to click next. Require, if you, you can add require if you want. Just say if you wanted to install in Windows 10 only, you can do that here. Click next. Dependency, you can add a dependencies like the .NET frameworks or any some kind of special um, application you can do that here click next and next and close and next let's keep clicking <clears throat> so while it's doing that i'm going to remove um office from this machine that way i can push test the the the, uh, the deployment through sccm so it's finished i'm going to distribute the contents right click i'm going to distribute next choose the DP and next next again now I'm going to deploy it right click again and deploy it. I'm going to choose my test collection Windows 10 004 machine. Click next. Next, I'm going to make it required. I don't have to do anything here, just leave it alone. Require as soon as possible. I'm going to display in Software Center and shows all notifications. That's fine. Click next, next, and next. So that's all there is to it, folks. Um, so that was the step number four, deploy to a test machine. And once the office is removed and the computer received the policy, Office 2016 should be reinstalled. Thank you very much. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.